Hello everyone, my name is Hector. This is Everything Horror. We like to talk about everything horror. I hope you're all practicing your social distancing. I hope everyone is okay. Your families and friends are okay. I hope you all stay safe and uh, enjoy this time you have together while being quarantined. If you are quarantined, you know there's some people that are essential employees and uh, unfortunately can't take any time off. But uh, I want to thank you for everything that you do and uh, enjoy the video. Uh, so we're going to be talking about The Outsider. The Outsider is a, a horror TV show, horror mystery TV show uh, based on the novel from Stephen King. Uh, the main premise of the show is a hardened detective struggling with a case where a man virtually appears to be at two places at once. Now the kicker is the man is accused of a horrible crime, the murder of a child. The show has been airing on HBO for the past couple months and just finished up about a week ago while I'm recording this video and I just wanted to give a non-spoiler review and also uh, <laughs> do some spoilers at the end of the video after that, after uh, the non-spoiler part but yeah let's go ahead and get that started again the premise of the show is about a man being at two places at once accused of a horrible crime uh, this man that's accused is a, is a pretty known figure in the community of where this show takes place and uh, he gets arrested publicly accused of the murder and um, as the show goes on uh, more evidence appears to show that uh, he's at two places at once. Some people place him, eyewitnesses place him at the scene of the crime. Uh, no one actually saw him do it, but they place him at the scene of the crime. And some people place him 60 miles away at the same time uh, where he's at a convention listening to a seminar. And there's a video footage of him there. There's video footage of him at, uh, at a nearby strip club. Because, um, you know, that's what you do after you murder someone. You go to the strip club. And uh, there, there's video footage of him there. And that's where, uh, you know, our main characters butt heads. It is a horror TV show. Though, so there is a horror element in here. I don't really want to give it away if you don't know it already. Because I, like, because I like the way the show handled everything. I think this is one of the best adaptations of a Stephen King novel. I've ever seen and I can't imagine it being a film because the way they put it all together in a show and these are one hour episodes okay the way they they put everything together I just I, I can't imagine it all being smushed into a film because none of the episodes are filler uh, they all played a part into the overall story and I think it's it's pretty much a masterpiece the way it, it all went together. Major props to Jason Bateman and the team that you know helped to put the show together. He's a main producer and he directed some episodes and I think he did a really good job. He did a really good job with his character as well. There's a scene in the show where he just looks so menacing. I never thought uh, Jason Bateman would give me chills <laughs> because Holy crap, that scene uh, that I'm talking about, he, he just ugh, gives you some creeper vibes for sure. The whole cast, the whole cast was great. Ben Mendelsohn as Ralph Anderson, he was exactly what I imagined Ralph to be. That be from reading the book. Uh, Cynthia Riva, who plays Holly Gimney, um, the character is different from the book. Um, they had to change some things because, you know, there is a show, uh, Mr. Mercedes, based on the Hodges. So they did have to change her character a bit. And I actually really like what they did with her. There's uh, Hitsinia Park, who uh, it does play a small character, but I love seeing her in the show. Uh, I loved Hannibal uh, back when it was airing, and it was nice to see her in here. And then, of course, Jason Bateman. And the rest of the cast, all great, exactly how I imagined the characters. I like the whole psychological battle throughout the show. 
um, trying to distinguish what's real, what's not, what is really going on, the suspension of belief that sometimes you have to go through in order to see everything as a whole. We have two characters that clash throughout the show. Uh, one is open to the supernatural and the other is centered on fact and what is. And it brings a really great dynamic into the show. I love how much time you spend on each character. That's part of the reason why I can't imagine uh, it being a film now. But uh, each time you spend with the main characters, it's just so well paced. Um, sometimes I can see why people would think it's slow, but overall, in my opinion, I I really liked every minute of each episode. I liked how everything started off in the beginning, and then as the show went on, more of the supernatural element was implemented into the show, and I think it was wonderfully done. My only negative, really, for the show is I wish there was more. So yeah, my, my rating for The Outsider is 5 coke nail scratches out of 5. That's right, uh, I think this is a masterpiece. Uh, it's, I, I can't believe how much I absolutely loved the TV show. I think I actually love the show even more than the actual book. I know, sacrilegious, oh my god, kill me now. But <laughs> I absolutely loved it, you guys. Um, but yeah, let's get into a little bit of spoilers. Um, let's get into some things that were different from the book. Um, the whole entire character of Holly Gibney. In the book, she is still recovering from the death of Bill Hodges uh, from the Hodges trilogy. Um, she is still working for the PI group Finders Keepers. And she is called by Alec to assist in the Terry Maitland case. Now, with Holly Gibney in the show, um, we find out that she's a wonder child. Um, she has a, she she has a lot of knowledge about about some uh, random shit, and and she grew up wondering what was wrong with her. Why does she have all this information? It's always unexplainable to her, and that's why she's so more open to the unexplained. I have to say, the, the changes that they did for that character were perfection. It could have went uh, in a horrible direction, but I think they tamed it more in reality. And then another change that really stuck out to me was uh, Claude, um, how more integral he was to the story and the character of his brother. I think the change where he is actually at the main boss fight um, at the end was very well done. At first, I didn't really know what to think of it, but um, seeing him face to face with himself, the shapeshifter, was very well done. And then the shapeshifter himself, we know that he uh, feeds off of negativity. He feeds off of despair, sadness. Um, that's why he hangs out at graveyards and at places where horrible things happened. He feeds off of it and makes him stronger. And I like how they explored that more in the show. I love the design of him and the subtlety they played whenever he was changing. Um, the face, the drawings, it, it was all very well done. Ben Mendelsohn, I absolutely loved him. I loved his character. There were times where you just wanted to shake him, just shake Ralph. But the change that they did with um, their son actually being dead was, I think, a good choice uh, to kind of give you some sympathy for Ralph because there are parts in the show where, where he is flawed. And I think they did a good job with keeping audiences sympathetic to his character. And as far as Frankie Peterson, I think they did it justice. They were tasteful in what they showed crime scene. I know a lot of people were wondering how they would be able to, you know, air that. Um, but they th I think they did it perfectly, uh, as I imagine. You know, with the subject matter, it's probably the best that they could have done. Yeah, overall, you guys, The Outsider, 
is a top-notch show you should definitely check it out it is worth your time especially now since a lot of people are you know stuck in their homes it's worth watching right now this is probably the best opportunity you're gonna have to check it out anyways i hope you guys like this video i greatly appreciate it if you did like it if you subscribed if you're new to my channel definitely check out my other videos as well i want to thank you all for for sticking in there i know i hadn't posted in a while i've been working on this video for a bit i know it's, it's, it's crazy um but with everything that's been going on it's just a lot of things were coming up so but very glad i was able to get this out there i hope everyone's doing well and i hope you keep doing well anyways take care thanks for watching goodbye peeps